Hello and welcome to News Update. The Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami has stated that the federal government may file a fresh action against Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday Igbohu following the judgment of an Oyo State High Court which awarded 20 billion naira in damages in his favor. The Ondo State Governor Mr. Rutimi Akimedolu has accused Kaduna State Governor Malam Nasir El Rufai of exporting banditry to the south following his statement that anti-open grazing laws signed by some southern governors is unrealistic. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Mr. Abubakar Malami has disclosed that the federal government has identified Boko Haram financiers and is carrying out investigation for their prosecution. The Vice-Chancellor at Ekiti State University, Professor Ediola Nikbekun, said the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, will commence investigation into the alleged embezzlement of about 100 million naira by some management officials of the university who used an illegal portal to collect tuition fees from unsuspecting students. President Mohamed Buhari at the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York disclosed that 10 new national parks will be established as part of efforts to tackle biodiversity loss in the country. The federal government has maintained that the Federal Inland Revenue Service FIRS, will continue to collect value-added tax VAT, following the ruling of the Court of Appeal on the matter. The Kogi State House of Assembly has screened and confirmed Honorable Justice Richard Olorunfemi as the substantive chief judge of Kogi State. The Bauchi State's chief judge, Justice Rabi Umar, has ordered the release of 11 prison inmates from custodial centers in Bauchi State's command, urging them to be law-abiding citizens and shown crimes in order not to be arrested again. And that's the news update. You can get more from TOS TV Network using the details currently showing on your screen.